spironolactone reduces arterial resistant hypertension the blood pressure that remains above the normal level in spite of the concurrent use of three antihypertensive agents is resistant blood pressure several uncontrolled trials showed a significant reduction in the blood pressure after the use of spironolactone The study evaluates the effect of the concomitant use of spironolactone with other antihypertensive agents in the patients with resistant arterial hypertension. The study included all the patients who were above 18 years of age with arterial hypertension, the patients with chronic kidney disease and diabetes whose blood pressure was above 130 by 80 mm of mercury, were also included in the study. The subjects who were excluded from the study were patients with severe hypertension or with a secondary cause of hypertension, renal failure, and porphyria. Pregnant and breastfeeding women were also excluded from the study. The number of the subjects involved in the study were 150, of which 74 were assigned to the spironolactone group and 76 were assigned to the placebo group. SPSS software was used, and the analysis involved man with NEU test and Fisher exact test. The procedure involved assigning the patients into two groups spironolactone group and placebo group 25 mg of spironolactone was given to the spironolactone group and placebo was given to the placebo group once daily for 8 weeks the blood pressure was monitored during the visits for every 4 to 8 weeks the baseline values of the patient characteristics were compared with the values obtained after the study period. The change in the baseline values were recorded after the eight weeks of the treatment. The blood pressure was reduced significantly after the concomitant use of spironolactone with other antihypertensive agents. The decrease in the blood pressure was seen with the use of both placebo and spironolactone. Ambulatory blood pressure monitoring measures the blood pressure at regular intervals. The daytime systolic and diastolic blood pressure was found to be reduced after the eight week study period. There was an effective reduction in the nighttime blood pressure in the patients with resistant hypertension, according to ambulatory blood pressure monitoring after eight weeks of spironolactone study. There was a decrease in blood pressure in the patients with resistant arterial hypertension after the concomitant use of spironolactone with other antihypertensive agents.